Good evening and welcome back, Western Colorado. I'm Star Harvey. Taking a look outside at our America's Mattress Live Tower camera, we're getting those gorgeous conditions to end our weekend here. Our highs for today reached the 50s, 56 into Grand Junction, 54 for Montrose. So all in all, some mostly clear skies, a nice day out there. These record temperatures are going to show that we are not too far off from our average because that heat did start to move in. Last week was a different story. Paying attention to our lows there, we're finally getting caught up to our average temps, not quite hitting those record temps. 74 degrees back in 1975. Wow, that feels like some California weather out there. 52 degrees currently with winds moving out of the west at 5 miles per hour. Humidity at 16%. Dew point still in those single digits this weekend at just 7. 48 for Delta, 51 for Montrose. Our higher elevation seeing temperatures from the higher 30s to the 40s. 48 into Glenwood Springs. So some chilly conditions starting to kick in there. Although we have seen some temperature change, things are heating up. Four degrees warmer today into Grand Junction, into Delta and Montrose. One and three degree warmer. Our higher elevations seeing some single digit warm ups. Glenwood Springs taking the cake with 11 degrees warmer out there. Radar and satellite, our activity here is showing us those dry conditions continuing to linger around this weekend. Some cloud activity going on into Montrose, but for the most part, we are in the clear. Watches and warnings all in the clear for now, as well into our Grand Valley. Drought monitor remains the same. Taking a look here on our monitor, those severe categories have actually moved into a bigger portion of our viewing area. And taking a look here into this beige area, we've moved into a moderate condition and some dry conditions also going on out there throughout parts of western Colorado. We will have those updates for you on the drought monitor next week on Thursday. HD forecast showing us those dry conditions continuing to stick around into tonight. It's going to be a little cloudy out there, but for the most part, beautiful. Moving into Monday morning, we're going to see some beautiful skies by the time we walk out there. Lunchtime, you can go ahead and have lunch outdoors. Just make sure you have those sweaters because it's going to be clear out there. Tuesday into Wednesday, we will continue to see that warm up with temperatures rising into the low 60s. 29 for our lows. So, Still some not so good news. Below freezing temps continue a mostly clear night with no chance of precipitation out there. 21 for Delta, 26 into Montrose tonight. Higher elevations, although freezing, mostly clear with temperatures ranging from the teens to the 20s. Tomorrow that warm up continues. 60 degrees, mostly sunny with no chance of precipitation going on here into our valleys. Mostly clear skies, 61 and 60. Loving the these temperatures. I'm telling you, it's reminding me of some California weather out there. Going over into our high country, mostly sunny with temperatures ranging from the 40s into the 50s. I want to show you this cool down here overnight. 37 by the time we're at 9 p.m., mostly clear skies. Midnight, we're dropping down three degrees, 34, and by the time we're all, I'm sure, well asleep, 30 degrees below freezing. But that warm up that I continue to talk about and I'm excited for. We see here as we head into the work week, 60 degrees to start our work week on Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday, 62 degrees. So if you're out there enjoying your time, we do want to see your photos. Go ahead and submit them to us on westernslopenow.com or on Instagram or Facebook, our KREX page out there. Photo of the week goes to a grant, a beautiful photo of some color change. Montrose, we're going to go ahead and take one more look here, extended seven-day forecast. 56, a hike up 59 into Tuesday, Wednesday. Things are even warmer out there. Grand Junction, 60. 62 is the warmest we're going to see this week, and I'm all excited about that. Go ahead and stick around to the end of our broadcast as I'll give you one last weekly outlook. Talk about temperatures reaching the 60s and another weekend nightly temp cap. We'll be right back after this break.